So, is he gonna sparkle in this movie? Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the McFarlane Toys, The Batman! Batman! So, here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging! Here we have that McFarlane packaging, a whole lot of comic booky stuff going on there in the background. DC Multiverse, The Batman, it is Batman, and on this side we have Batman, on this side we have Batman from The Batman, and on the bottom, words, things, and barcodes, on the back of the box, you have a nice little image there of The Batman, you have your cross cells, and that's basically it for the packaging, also included is a collector's card with that same image, that's on the back of the box, and you get a little bio if you want to read it. Hooray for carts. And moving right along, here we have the Batman from the upcoming movie, The Batman. And here we have the Batman, our new The Batman. The Batman. But let's get in closer so we can take a look not at his abs, but at that noggin. So yes, here is our new the Batman, Robert Pattinson, and uh, that sculpt looks pretty good. Um, the paintwork is not great. You can kind of see some spots here, like under his nose, where kind of the black is still bleeding through a little bit. Obviously, the head was cast completely in black, and then he just painted the uh, the skin tone on. So yeah, you can kind of see the black kind of bleeding through a little bit of some spots, but you know, not not too bad with the molding. I mean, it looks like. The lower part of Robert Pattinson's face. You know, it's in the ballpark. Um, the eyes, you can see he's kind of looking off to the side there for some reason, you know, because he's vengeance. That's why, because he's vengeance. But taking a look at the suit here, you can see that new uh, little bat emblem on his chest. Now, this suit, I actually kind of dig the suit design. It kind of, for, for me, I liken it to um, Christian Bale's Batman suits, where it's not so much a guy in a spandex suit, it looks more like armor, you know? So I personally dig that look, personally. Personally, I personally dig it, personally. 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 But anyway. With some nice detail going on. You got some silver there in the gauntlets. Of course, you got the little spiky bits going on there. Those are rubber. So you don't have to worry about hurting yourself or breaking those. And of course, the utility belt, because what is Batman without his utility belt? So little pouches and whatnot going on. Your little hooks and whatnot. And moving down, got some knee pads. And the boots. And some nice molded details. I don't know if the back, you just have the cape going on here. The cape is rubber, so it's nice and bendy. You can see the bat booty. And all that. So, all in all, sculpting wise, a pretty good figure. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly. You can look up a good bit, you can look down a good bit. You can say bat, you can say bat, not squirrel, bat. Look down, head can do a full 360, arms can do a full 360, um, they can move forward and back, they have a little butterfly hinge in there as well, arms can move outward, um, the shoulder pads are made of rubber, they actually connect at the bottom here, so they will get out of the way for you when you bring his arms out, you do have bicep rotation, you have a double jointed elbow, so you have full range of movement there, uh, the wrists, they can rotate, they can move up and down. Uh, this wrist peg is one of those hinged pegs, so depending on how you have that hinge oriented, you can have the hand going in pretty much any direction you want. Um, he does have an upper torso joint here, so you can get a good arch. Uh, not really much by way of an ab crunch, though, but you can get some side-to-side -side movement, some rotation. He does have a proper waist joint. It's quite snug on mine, but he does have a proper waist joint that can rotate. Um, legs can move forward that far. Um, his, 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 uh, is bat undies here. Uh, it's not really what's well, shaped like underwear. That's why I call it bat undies. But anyway, these are made of rubber, so they'll flex out of the way. So legs can move forward that far. Back about that far. 
power, and you can pretty much do the full splits. Um, you get some thigh rotation, but not a lot. That's pretty much as much range of movement as you're going to get there. Um, you do have a double jointed knee. Nice full range of movement there. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down. You do have rotation, you do have ankle tiltage, and you even have a toe joint. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his grapnel gun. Let's see, just cast in black. It's a pretty nice detail. Obviously, it's cast in black. It's Batman! Everything's black. He only works in black and sometimes very dark gray. But, yeah, there's the grapnel launcher. You can see there is a post on the side. Now, he can't hold this in either hand. If you want, you can have him holding it in his, uh, in his left hand. Thing you can totally do if you want him to. I mean, you can do that as well, but he is meant to hold it in his right hand using this peg. There is a port right here in his palm. And you just plug it in. And it's supposed to sit like that. So you can shoot off a grappling hook and whoosh, and he can do that. He can do all of that. Yes, he can do it. He can do all of it. Um, it would have been nice if there was, uh, you know, some place to actually peg it onto his uh, utility belt. You know, if there was a post somewhere. I mean, if there was a, a port, rather, somewhere on the utility belt, we could just kind of plug it into the side or whatever. But uh, it is what it is, but that's okay. He can just hold it. He can just hold it and zip around as only Batman can do. But there you have that. Hey there. Hey there, Batpat. Stay there, Batpat. And the last thing we get with this figure is the uh, black disc of basage here. This black DC logo right there. You can plug this into his heel like so. And now Batpats can stand true. There you go. Now he's not going to fall over. Ha ha ha! I got you, Batpats. I got you, Batpats. So there you have that. And now for comparison, uh, here he is with his uh, predecessor with uh, Batfleck. This is the Mattel version. I never got the uh, McFarlane version, which I should go back and get because I actually looks a really good figure. I should go back and get the uh, McFarlane Batfleck. But this is the only Batfleck I have to compare it to right now. As you can see, these McFarlane figures are definitely a larger scale than the uh, older Mattel multiverse figures. Um, up to the tip of his ears, he stands at seven and a half inches tall. So yeah, definitely a uh, much larger scale figure here with the McFarlane boys. So there you go. So there you have the Batman, and uh, yeah, nicely done figure for the most part. Um, the paint on the face is is not great. That's the only real thing I can critique here. Um, you know, the the overall sculpting detail looks really good. A lot of articulation, so he's nice and poseable. Overall, a nicely done action figure for what it is. As far as the movie itself goes, I'm looking forward to seeing it. You know, I'm not going to pass judgment on Robert Pattinson or the movie until I actually see the movie. I'm going to give it a chance. We'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, very much looking forward to the film. So there you go. And now if you would like this or any other DC Multiverse figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. Then I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the McFarlane Toys, the Batman, the Batman, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face. Hey there! Whoa! Wait a second, wait a second! Who are you? I'm Vengeance. No, seriously, who are you? Is that who I am underneath? But what I do... Hey, 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 That's not your line. That's not my line either. I'm totally doing the wrong voice. Ah, oh, whatever, do what you want, kid. I'm, I'm Vengeance. Yeah, whatever.